Ordinary People is a 1980 drama film directed by Robert Redford, based on the novel of the same name by Judith Guest. The film stars Timothy Hutton as Conrad, a troubled teenager dealing with the aftermath of a family tragedy, Donald Sutherland as Calvin, his concerned father, and Mary Tyler Moore as Beth, his emotionally distant mother. The film won four Academy Awards, including Best Picture, Best Director, Best Supporting Actor for Hutton, and Best Adapted Screenplay for Alvin Sargent. The film opens with Conrad returning home from a psychiatric hospital after attempting suicide. His parents, Calvin and Beth, are struggling to connect with him, and Conrad feels increasingly isolated and alone. As the film progresses, we learn that Conrad's older brother, Buck, died in a boating accident, and Conrad blames himself for his death. His mother, Beth, is emotionally distant and unable to show affection towards her son, while his father, Calvin, is caring but ineffectual in dealing with Conrad's issues. The film is a powerful exploration of grief, guilt, and the complexities of family relationships. The performances by Hutton, Sutherland, and Moore are outstanding, with each actor bringing depth and nuance to their roles. Hutton's portrayal of Conrad is particularly noteworthy, capturing the character's pain and vulnerability while also showing his strength and resilience. The film's screenplay, adapted by Alvin Sargent, is a masterclass in character development and emotional storytelling. The film's characters are complex and multidimensional, with each having their own struggles and flaws. The film's dialogue is naturalistic and unforced, with conversations often revealing more about the characters' inner lives than what is explicitly said. One of the film's most powerful themes is the idea of forgiveness and redemption. Conrad's journey towards self-acceptance and healing is not an easy one, but through the support of his father, his therapist, and his own determination, he is able to come to terms with his brother's death and move forward with his life. Similarly, Calvin's journey towards self-forgiveness and acceptance is one that many viewers can relate to, as he grapples with his own guilt and feelings of inadequacy as a father. Another notable aspect of the film is its exploration of gender roles and expectations. Beth's inability to show affection towards her son is rooted in her own upbringing and societal expectations of women as mothers and caretakers. Meanwhile, Conrad's struggles with expressing his emotions and asking for help are also tied to societal expectations of masculinity and the stigma around mental health. Throughout the film, the characters struggle to communicate and connect with one another. Calvin, who is a successful businessman, finds it difficult to relate to his son's emotional struggles. He initially tries to fix Conrad's problems by buying him expensive gifts and trying to be his friend, but ultimately realizes that he needs to be more present and attentive to Conrad's emotional needs. Sutherland delivers an understated yet powerful performance as Calvin, capturing the character's sensitivity and vulnerability without ever descending into sentimentality. One of the most memorable scenes in the film is the dinner table scene, where Conrad confronts his mother about her lack of emotional support. The tension between the characters is palpable, and the scene is a masterclass in acting, with Hutton and Moore playing off each other perfectly. The film's exploration of mental health and therapy is also noteworthy. Conrad's sessions with his therapist, Dr. Berger, played by Judd Hirsch, are a crucial part of his journey towards healing. The film's portrayal of therapy is nuanced and sensitive, showing the benefits of seeking help while also acknowledging the challenges of confronting painful emotions and memories. In addition to its exploration of family dynamics and mental health, Ordinary People is also a commentary on class and privilege. The film's characters are upper-middle class, and their struggles are often seen through the lens of their privileged background. Conrad's parents are able to afford his therapy and hospitalization, while many others in similar situations would not have access to these resources. The film's ending, which sees Conrad finally able to express his emotions and connect with his father, is a cathartic and satisfying conclusion to his journey.
The film ends on a hopeful note, suggesting that healing and redemption are possible even in the face of tragedy and loss. In conclusion, Ordinary People is a powerful and affecting film that explores complex themes with sensitivity and nuance. The film's performances, particularly by Hutton, Sutherland, and Moore, are outstanding, and the film's screenplay is a masterclass in emotional storytelling. The film's exploration of grief, guilt, and the complexities of family relationships is timeless and universal, and its message of forgiveness and redemption is one that resonates with viewers of all ages and backgrounds. Ordinary People is a film that has stood the test of time, and its impact and relevance continue to be felt today. If this content was valuable to you, would you please be willing to give me a like, a subscribe, or a comment? It would help this channel a lot. Thanks.